Wendy? It's 7.30, so it's still pretty quiet. But come 9, 10 o'clock, it's going to be chaos in here. If you've got any difficulties, just ask me, all right? No sign yet? No. Just hope she might turn up for New Year's Eve. Well, it's stupid, isn't it, right? She's not here, Wilmot's not here. It's just Russell, me, Wendy from the chip shop. It's marvellous, isn't it? Do you want some help? No, it's all right. I'll manage. In that case, we'll go over to the Victor see Dad. We'll pop back later. It's all right. I'll survive. I've just gone and changed my jacket. We spent the whole day looking. Hotels, pubs, friends, anywhere she might be. I've even contacted the police. But how's Sharon taking it? Well, how would you feel if your mother disappeared? Me? Oh, I'd be delighted. Excuse me. No, not since Tuesday. Yes, I know it's only been two days, and I'm fully aware that she's a grown woman. All I want to know is, do the police have to be informed if she's been involved in an accident? Right. Thanks for nothing, darling. How are you seeing this? Right, we're all crystal clear about tonight. Once we get busy, Kathy's going to give us hand, and Arnold Schwarzenegger there's going to click the glasses. I want to keep the service nippy, watch out for drunks, and don't forget we got an extension to 12.30. Any questions? No. Nope. You've done, done these New Year's Eve stint before, so you're in for a treat. It's the busiest and worst night of the year. No, I don't know. It goes on and on and on, and just when you think you're going to die of boredom, some idiot starts singing a wettest song in English language, Old Lang Syne, which, come to think of it, isn't English at all. That, I like a word. No worry about him, he's just worried about his darling ex-wife. Well, I don't care about him because I've decided to enjoy myself. Now, you've been very quiet since Anne's did a disappearing act. Do you know something that I don't? No, nothing. Well, I've phoned everybody I know. Sonny Reese, Steve, Marilyn, Fred, nothing. Are you sure there's nothing you want to tell me? <sighs> right down there is something I ain't told you. She's drinking again. Rubbish. She's on the wagon, definitely. I took her out just before Christmas. It was orange juices all the way. Uh-oh. By herself, she's on something a lot stronger than that. Dad? Uh, yeah, just a minute, darling. Are you sure? Drinking Everly? Then I don't know. It, she might have gone on a bender. Well, she did take a bottle of gin with her. There's me working my finger to the bone, phoning out of the hospital, everybody I know. Thank you very much, and you've done it to me again. No news, I suppose? No. Oh, Mr. Watts, I'm taking the liberty of phoning the police in the local hospitals just in case. But nobody knows anything. Over there, darling. Right. There you go. Thanks. Let me buy you something, too. Well, thanks very much. I'll have gin and tonic. Everyone's in such a bad mood, I'm going to enjoy myself. Pax just told me your mother's back on the booze. Did you know about it? Well, you should have a little drink now and again, that's all. Well, why don't you tell me? Because most of the time she was all right, Dad. No, with people like your mother, there's no half measures. They're either off the booze or they're on it. Right, I'll wash my hands of the old one. Well, Dad, we've got to go on looking for her. She might be your mother, darling, but she's no longer my wife. I come downstairs, and this is what he left. Just this. On me, Ivy. Cheerio, Dot. Time to move on. Took all my stuff again. Me bags, me money. He even took that box of chocolates Pauline gave me for Christmas. Ah. On New Year's Eve, too. Oh, I know. Don't tell me. Oh. After he had that lovely Christmas off you, too, some people have got no gratitude. You must feel awful. Oh, I do. Yes. Terrible. Mm. No, I don't. What? No, I bloomy well do not. Not? I don't feel awful at all. Throw that stupid note in the bin there, Thor. I don't feel sorry he's gone. I feel glad. What on earth's come over you, Doc? Glad? When I come running over here to tell you it was just the shop, but... Suddenly... Ah. Suddenly... Yes? I realise that it's a big, great relief. Please, Doc. Yeah. If Charlie was to walk in here now, do you know what I'd do? Well, I'd put two fingers up and I'd say that to you. Oh, this is not like you at all, Doc. I feel like Paul on the road to Damascus. Well, who was he? Well, he suddenly saw the light. I mean, 30 years I've been waiting around for Charlie and suddenly I realise it's all gone. I don't want him no more. Why not? Well, he cuts his toenails in the sitting room. And he leaves all scum and airs in the bath. Don't go on. And he smells very heavily of sweat. What else? Well, he's hurt me so many times in the past, Ethel. I mean, he drove me Nick away. Mm. And I love my Nick. Mm. But I don't love Charlie. Messed up my life. Messed up my home. Got me into trouble. No. And he stole me things. Oh. Ethel. Yes. Thank you. What for? Nothing. Oh. It's just seeing you here, enjoying your own. 
But I'm not enjoying my own dot. I'm packing it up. Ah, yes, but you're a happy person, Ethel. You are happy on your own, and that has taught me something. In future, I'm going to be like you. You can't be like me, Dot. You can't go into stricted housing because you're not old enough. No, no, I meant be self-reliant. In fact, I might even get a dog like Willie. Huh? No, perhaps not. Not with my chest. Here, come on, Ethel. Let's go down to the beacon and celebrate. Oh, I can't go there, Doc. I've got to do all this. But you're starting a new life, Ed, and so am I. we got to celebrate. we got to mark the occasion. Come on, look. I'll slip back and collect you, shall I? And I shan't take no for an answer. But first, I've got to slip back home and set me air. All right. I'll get me wig on. Are they off yet? Yeah, I think oh, so. Good. Annie's in with Vicky and Martin's in our room. Oh, great. All I've got to do is brush my hair and put my shoes yeah. on. Arthur, come oh. here a minute. What's up? Sit down. I've been thinking. Yeah. What a difference this year to last, eh? Oh, don't. What a state we were in. Poof. Yeah, don't worry. 1988 is going to be a big improvement. Let's hope so. It's going to be. Oh, good, good, good. I'll tell you what, I've learned something this year, though. Mm? I've learned to be grateful for the things I've got instead of worrying about things I haven't got. I mean, I know I haven't got a job, but I've got me health. I've got young Martin. I've got you. Oh. And a new gas cooker. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to me about gas cookers. Here, ain't you nearly ready? I'm going to put my glad rags on. I'm going to enjoy myself. I think what I've really learned is to live in the present, to enjoy every minute as it comes. Yeah, what's he rabbiting on about? Here, where's that new tar I'll give you? I thought you were going to put it on. Yeah, I was, but I can't seem to find it anywhere. Don't worry, I know where it is. It's upstairs. Come on. Here. Any news of Angie? No, Mum. Oh, I reckon she's gone for good. I still don't understand why. Because it's expected. We, but we were here for Christmas, weren't we? At Christmas Eve and Boxing Day. Look, why do we have to spend New Year's Eve with them and all? Just, just will you? I just want a bit of fun, that's all. But we could have some fun together, couldn't we? We could have our own little celebration. I want to be with my family, Lofty. They're not my family, though, are they, Shaw? I always feel sort of on the outside. Look, will you just shut up, Moan, and take them upstairs for us? Oh, you take them. It's your house, and your family. Oh, hello, Michelle. Hello, hello. Already? Hello, hello, hello. Anybody ready for the play? Here, yeah, sis, huh? Come on. You're right, love. We'll have yeah. a good time. Yeah, you bet. Come, Come on. Come on, Here, any news of Angie? No, not a word. Oh, that's weird, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. that'll be the best. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Here we are. Ah, ah, sis, you look the business, don't yeah, you? Like yes. day over 29. Right. <laughs> I see you're still wearing that lovely tie. What's wrong with it? I'll get it in. Yeah, look, me and Cathy thought we'll all go on the pub for, eh? Mm. Start in with his wine bar, Dagmar, into the feathers, finish up with the event. Oh, oh, right. oh, this is Christine. Hello, Christine. Hello, Christine. Hello, Christine. Hello, Christine. Hello, Hello. Come to mind the nursery, have you? Right, come on then, Mum. Come on, Mum. Come on, Mum. Only got four hours to kick in the house. Come on, Mum. 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 Eh? Nah. <laughs> 
let's forget about it and have a nice evening. It's great to see you two again. I just wish that Sue was here to share with us. There they are. Darren Squatters. I'd be at all surprised if it was their rubbish old McIntyre put on that doorstep. The filthy things that came out of it. Excuse me. This is Duncan, my boyfriend. Oh, hi. Hello. This is Gwizin, Ali and Cheers. Cheers. Hello. Cheers. Hello. Hello. Cheers. Hello. Cheers. Hi. I'm running back in that window. You're on the cafe. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, are you uh, 